Hello, it's Kelly again. I'm here to talk to you about my template trick. With the shapes of the back plates designed and ready, I came up with a template for routing the recesses in the back of the guitar to receive the back plates. So next, I needed a way to make a negative template or a, a template made from this template and this template opening, backplate templates that would fit in here perfectly. Yeah, I could just draw it out and try my best to get it as close as I could, or I could use this as a mold. The idea would be to set this on the table with wax paper underneath it and pour plaster of Paris into here and into here. And when that dried, remove the plaster of Paris, take the plaster of Paris, and make sturdier templates out of MDF. And you'd end up with a perfect fit. As close to a perfect fit as you can imagine. See? But it wasn't that easy. First, the plaster of Paris crumbled as I was trying to remove it from the mold. I did neglect to prepare the surface so that the plaster of Paris would not stick to it, meaning it's gonna break if I pull it apart. So next, I thought, it, and also the the plaster of Paris was pretty fragile anyway. I've worked with Fix-It-All before, and I've found that that's actually a much stronger material. So this next time what I did is I, is I applied some masking tape to the surface, as well as a thin coating of oil, hoping that that would make it so that when I poured the Fix-It-All into here, that it would easily that would that it would be easy to remove without breaking it apart. And that pretty much worked. I used the fix it all. This removed easy enough. This was more difficult. The masking tape and the oil may have helped, but it broke apart in three places. So uh luckily there were clean breaks and I was able to to glue it back together, all the broken pieces back together, and to strengthen it, I I, uh, I glued some cloth to the back. Okay, nailed it. <laughs> so these, are what I'll make the cover plates with. And this template is what I'll route the receiving cavities in the body for the cover plates. So it should be a nice tight fit. Groovy. Okay, that's not just a fancy Van Halen paint job preparation. No, that sticky double-sided tape, this is going into there. Like that. So those pieces were just there to make sure that when I set this down with its double-sided tape that it's stuck to exactly the right place. So that when the router bearing goes and cuts cuts this area for the uh, for the cover plates, it's going to be a lower shelf in there and here, but it's exactly where I wanted it to be. The following is video of me routing the recesses in the back of this guitar. Rather than listening to the loud, annoying whine of a motor you might as well listen to my music. 
This is an original piece with my brother Steve on drums and uh, Bob Gross on bass. Enjoy. First pass, and that's a shallow pass. So, probably two or three more passes to go. Well, crap, on the second pass, somehow, this spot and that happened. I don't know how that could have happened. I was following the, uh, I had the, uh, the template seated to the top of the table and that should not have happened. Somehow it did, I don't know. I don't know. It's good this is a prototype. There's a little ways to go, but I'm thinking of doing the rest by planing the, uh, the plate down to the level of the surface and calling this done. Okay, with the template removed, 
Tick and this is the this is the material I'm using for the the plate. It's fiberglass with it's basically printed circuit board material, one one sided copper that goes down, and that's the th thickness of it. It's a little bit proud, but this is rough. So by the time this is sanded down, that should be perfect. Look at that. Beautiful. Exactly what I wanted. It's a little bit proud. Unfortunately, there's that. So, it's a little more proud over here than it is over there. It's perfect. I'd rather sand this down to meet this surface then for it to be too low and I have to send everything down to meet it. And here's the guitar so far. The back side, the latest thing I've done is make these cover plates. I don't know how that happened. Okay, I'm going to try to fix this. I take one of these bits and drilled into it. I'm going to take it on the bandsaw and cut it along there and maybe I'll get these pucks out of it that I can fashion something to fit in there. Okay, the diameter is a little bit too, t too small, but I think I can finesse it now. Okay. So far, so good. So what did I learn and what would I do differently? So I did some research and I discovered that if you want to release something from a mold, you need to spray on this stuff called mold release. And what the mold release does is allows you to release your object from the mold. And the other thing, what happened? What happened that this bite was taken out? And this bite? I know I had the template face down on top of the routing table with the guitar here. This never lifted up in such a way that it would have, the, the router bit would have, would have taken a bite out of that. Maybe the bearing froze for a little bit and it, uh, the spinning action cut away into the, into the template, which then now transferred that bite into the, into the body. But I don't know what happened. If you have any ideas, please leave a comment below if you've ever seen this kind of thing happen before. I need to solve this before I make the same mistake again. If I, if I think I'm doing it right, and even still there is a problem, then that could creep up and destroy a, a project that's not a prototype. Luckily, I was able to fix it pretty much. It's almost... It's almost impossible to tell where I made the patch. Well, since we're talking about templates, here's a couple of templates for you. And this is not a template trick. This is just templates. When I designed the guitar on paper, I transferred it to my computer and uh, tweaked it a little bit from there, you know, the body outline and the headstock uh, shape template and I I sent the files to a company in Spain called Guitars and Wood or Guitars and Woods and uh, I forgot what they charged me but it wasn't bad um, they they uh, they cut this out for me and send it send it back so anyway that's it 
Good night and good luck.